and I cut it at three inches. And it's going to go right there, and we'll put a little sentiment there. Um, here's the base, and here's the nose and the little bows I already cut out. And then I cut all of the layers out in white. So I'm going to go ahead and turn these. Make sure they're the right way. Turn them upside down because I want the sticky part to be on the top. And turn them upside down and put them through my Viron. I don't need the white nose because I already cut it out a second time so I can get the black nose. And all these little pieces right in there. And we'll make sure they don't overlap. Let's see if this one will fit. Nope. Okay. And I'll do my little bows while we're. Oops. Those don't go in upside down because <laughs> those were just going to stick on. Okay. All right. Now we're going to do the um, just rub it down good and then outline everything like I said before so you don't get the goo around the edges. There we go. Now I'm just going to cut the those away. We'll use those later. And for the bigger pieces, for the bigger pieces, I like to use this bigger Xyron. Now you still turn it upside down, and you just crank the handle, and out it comes on the other side. All right. And you can see, maybe you can't on the camera. I don't know. Down oh, right there. There's still glue that. Um, gums up on there. So just go around with your finger around the edges. Drop the glue off. Okay, now this next part is kind of fun. Okay, we'll push that down really hard and get as much of the adhesive to stick as we can. Okay, now peel it up really carefully. Now, with this one, it doesn't work quite as well as as the little sticker machine. So you need to watch for little spots that you might have to touch up. And you can go ahead and just touch that up. So we're going to get our white fun block out. And just cover that. Now you want to make sure your base die cut is a really similar, if not the same color as the block. It just works better, kind of like with glitter. You don't want a, a different color showing through. And I just rub it all down, and that gives it a nice, even texture. Now you can see that. Okay, so it looks like you cut it out of felt paper. And I like to go, and if there's any little pieces or eyes, or like this little mouth. Well. Now the flower sauce, I tried a couple of different methods with this. I do have the flower sauce glue. But I thought we could try it with the, um, I'll move this over here, with the adhesive and see how that works. Okay, so once again, I'm going to check. That one came out cleaner, so I'm going to get this flower soft, the polar white. So fun. I love this flower soft. I haven't gotten a lot of colors yet, but the white I've tried, and wow. Oh, cool, I'm going to have to order some more. Okay, so I'm just going to press it down, and that makes it kind of furry and fuzzy. And it sticks out quite a bit more, so we'll send those half off the excess. So then we'll put that one over there, and we have the other little parts that go on it. We'll get the flower soft on that. I'm just pressing it down in there. And be careful not to lose your little pieces. I just about did. Okay. And I think this would work. Maybe it would even work better with the flower soft glue. I don't know. But I just wanted to try that with the adhesive. So it would be dry right away. Okay, let's put it together. Okay, so we'll just stick this down to the 
top with the um, tape runner. And now, I think we're going to need a good strong um, liquid glue again. <laughs> Alright, we'll put that right there. Now, you can see black right here, and it's because I still put the bows on. So, kind of worried me a little bit the first time I cut this out, because it wasn't lining up the way I thought it ought to. Okay, there's the little collar part. And on these, I think I'm just going to put the glue down. Put the little pieces on. Just press that down into the sticky. Oh, yeah, that looks better. Okay. And then... All right, now, the bows. I don't know how well that's going to stick. We'll see. The bows just go right there. And that pink really shows up against all that white. And let's see. Um, sometimes I keep my extra brads and stuff in Tic Tac cases, so you know, don't throw away those little fun containers that you get. Put the brads in. Hold the bread prongs over, and I like to push them back down so that they lay flat on the card. All right, and here is the nose. Here's the nose. And I can hardly do a card without my glossy accents, so we'll just do that on the nose. And um, I think I've given you this tip before. I just keep a little straight pin um, in there to keep it from getting clogged. And then just make sure you don't lay it down. It'll rust. Just keep it standing up. Okay. And let's see. <laughs> Get all this fun flock and flower soft out of the way. All right. So here's our... Here's our little poodle, and I think I'm going to use this, um, my pink scamper, more punnylicious, and it's the Poodles of Laughter. I'm going to put it, you know, let's put it right there. That'll be cute. Okay, so I just have my black ink. Now, I have a brand new stamp. I like to you know, kind of rub it along and Test it on a different paper. That's why I'm doing off to the side. Okay, so here we go. Oh, that'll be so cute. 